Hi, this is Franz Cantor. I'm a cartoonist, illustrator, and toon talker, and I'm here with Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. And Fantastic. we've decided to do Mr. Ronald Searle. Ronald Searle. Ronald Searle. A wonderful world of wine. Yes, and of course he's done many, many books, but um, we thought we might do a book on wine one day, and why not do one with Ronald Searle, because he did some absolutely terrific stuff. So who published this? Souvenir Press. Okay. And of course... Look at these characters. Let that be a lesson to you, everybody, because <laughs> that'll happen to you if you drink too much of the stuff. So this is a beautiful... Um, it's a combination of pencil and watercolour, and of course they're very iconic way of... Uh, his scratchy use of the uh, dip pen. Yeah. Um, we give you these um, thick and thin lines, but they're not thick and thin as in the classic uh, arabesques of a comic book. This is something very, very um, organic and befitting the characters a that he designs. Of, a line of all his, of his own. Yeah, well, it's a monstrous line. Yeah. yeah. They're monstrous lines, you know, so you get things. He does vampires very well, well so. Um, <laughs> It's uh, Transylvania. This is, um, I mean, in many ways, the design, the way that he designs his characters and the expressions, they're, they're, they're kind of almost um, Gay and Wilson-like because they have this... Um, this um, oh, I think Searle uh, came first. Yeah. I think oh, I don't mean in terms yeah, of yeah. copying. No, I'm, yeah. I mean, the, the way that he designs... The, when you, des when you well, do a character... Well, he celebrates the macabre. Yeah. Well, he yeah, celebrates, but they have, These guys are laughing. Yeah. Well, yes, they're not but just, that's the idea. They're, they're not meant to be, you know, um, uh, ghouls. They're meant to be idiots. So Drunken it, idiots. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, I mean, it's even the uh, and complacent so The wonderful world of wine, them. and here's the drunk on the street holding up his bottle, mm. celebrating. Yeah, but look at on the, a gut, si sitting the on scarf a and Stedman used the splatter technique of the pen so that you scrape, scratching so much it goes, and yeah. you've, you've, oh my goodness, I've dropped ink on my illustration. Yeah, but Stedman but actually on puts it. Stedman puts it in a, in a, a syringe and it squashes it across the page. Yeah. You see the big, th fat, dark line with the little yeah. tiny scratches? Yeah. So typically, when you're doing um, inking, you typically make the large lines on large, heavy objects to mm. denote weight. Yeah. yeah. Um, or also the underside of objects like the bottom of the stomach here, etc., etc. And it's obviously the yeah. most efficient way to drink wine. Yeah. without touching it with your hands you know? so that gives it ch a chunkiness a weight right so um and now we have the types we had the wine types mm. and there's this all these gags mm. these are the, the sophisticated drinkers yeah beautiful there's bodies look look at this, this triangle and yeah the beautiful um this is probably the to size i would say almost. yeah well he also did stuff for for wine labels is he left posters of course he is. All the best cartoons are left-handed. You know how I know? How? The pencil strokes going down ah, this way, ah. rather than this way. Ah. There you go. I've just offended all the right-handers out there. Yeah. Not. No, I mean, you can do pencil strokes yeah. like that, but you, it's more comfortable to do it with your left hand. Yeah. Um, and the, the I would smelling, have to turn the, the paper of the, around. The smelling of the corpse. <laughs> So the the, these, are, these are gags about wine tasting and obviously, you know, if you're into wine tasting and the wine industry, this book would be, oh, it would be like a Bible to you. This would be so funny. Look at his neck. You know, but um, he, uh, he, he has a very simple use of colour and um, uh, you'll see this in, particularly in his um, movie posters, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um... I, I always thought that he'd be perfect to illustrate Dickens, personally. Well, he's look, he, so he's look, very look, strong look at that leg. against I mean, a white back. Yeah, I know. He's very strong against a white background. Yeah. Very, very strong. Yeah. And the the way that he will design a character, um, it, it belies uh, like it's more mischief than construction. So it, this is based on like a doodle. Of, a, of an idea yeah. and he'll keep the construction from the doodle till the end yes so that he doesn't fix anything yeah. up he will not he'll not obey um, anything about weight yeah. anything about uh, uh, construction of the figure of the faces or anything about um, 
uh, perspective. It's the so, line. <laughs> it's the line. Yeah, but what it's the, the it's it's the the energy. It's the um, in innovation of the of the original of the original sketch, the doodle that he'll do. It's a very very loose and uh, you know beautifully uh, delineated. But somewhere within there, you'll see like dimples and things and and folds and stuff where he'll ref he's referencing. Um, his knowledge of cloth and his knowledge of the figure. So they're not sort of, um, you know, made to, they're not symbols of breasts. No, no. They're, they're, they're getting towards a caricature. Yes. Yeah, so but in, in that. The, he lets the line have its head. Look yeah. at those arms. Yeah. He just lets the line have its, its lead, you know? It's yeah. Yeah, well, look at the line there. Yeah, and these are all the awards he's got <laughs> for drinking and their little cups and stuff. Yeah. Big blobs of blop, 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 blop. Yeah, this look is, at the expressions. This and is funny. You don't bother filling the, in the filigree all is, over the, the This the, is the France, carpet. the annual festival of welcome to Italian wines. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> and look, look at all these nails and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Italians go home. That's right, yeah. Fantastic work. Again, very simple use of watercolour, you know. He does, the watercolour does. He doesn't like the watercolour to get in the way of the drawing. No, and he makes you know? it part of it. Look at this. There's a game. Well, occasionally, yeah, he'll do something that's right out of left field. I mean, he'll do. He'll put colours in there for uh, like a strong purpose. Well, it's so funny because, Punching like, for instance, bridge. look like. It's sort of balanced. It's yeah. not beautifully, classically balanced. And of no. course, he's punching this, but he leaves all this stuff in, which is really funny. Yeah. And here, like, here's a line that, because he's made the foot. Well, it's 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 keeping the energy of the scribble. Yes. Yes. So the lines and are he's not rubbing out anything. The lines are done in short strokes. Yes. Short frenetic strokes, like like scratches, really yeah. scratches. Yeah. And um, you know everything, even his pencil lines underneath, you can see are not um <coughs> sorry they don't have the the finesse no. of coloring in they're not coloring in they're just adding a little bit of color look at the flesh tones here yeah. which are pencil and look, and look at this muscle just yeah loop to loop loop, loop to loop. loop that's all that's all that's needed because the the original the energy uh, the idea is answered perfectly the problem is solved perfectly with the original um scribbles so he keeps the, the scribbles in this, there. This ritual, all these rituals about wine drinking, just so ridiculous, slicing yeah. it down tiny bits. He would have had an influence in the early 50s, um, 50s modern style of uh, uh, you know, cartoons as well. So well, actually, anti, anti he was the most drawing. He, he was more popular than the Beatles yeah. when they first started, and he, he just couldn't stand it, so he went off to France. Yeah. Yeah. Some beautiful stuff. And look, look at this straight line. Look, look at it just. Yeah. And, well, it's and the this story, guy here it's looks story. just leaning over and, and look at the cork. It's just a great gag. Well, it's the story of the gag. Yeah. It's the story of the gag. And he'll pump it and draw it out for all its, yeah. all its worth. Have a really, 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 really long cork. Yeah. But not have any kind of a finesse about the drawing. He would just, you know, he would, um, in, in many ways, the drawing is subordinate to the gag. So the gag is first, and then the drawing fills in the gaps. Yeah, in that case, yes, yes. And of course, it's a silly idea. Look how loose this is. Yeah. It's just a bit hanging out. It looks like a bone or something. Yeah. And this is funny. The Japanese wine ceremony, which is sending up the here they have look the tea squeezing, ceremony. squeezing the drops the grape. into the wine, and they're all off Tip. their trees. You know? Yeah. They're all laughing. Drunk, which is also up. sending up. They're the, also beautiful. Um, References to even the construction. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, he knows. He That's knows. a construction of Japanese and, and look design. At this. Yeah. Look at that. He he knows Utamara, that's for sure. Yeah. There's a great gag. William Tell. Yeah. Look, look at the, the curly horn. Yeah, and look at the um the Fraulein, the yeah. milkmaid. Yeah. Bottling, bottling time. Bottle made. And they're all blue from the wine, they're all heavy with the wine. Yeah. Italian font drinking out of the mm. font. Ah, this, this, okay. Um, both Stedman and Scarf and Searle, when they do perspective, they do this sort of forced, forced perspective. Yes. Um, and it gives it a very, it, it's, it works like this, it works beautifully on Italian architecture, Renaissance architecture, and, uh, you know, government buildings and religious buildings, etc., etc. Yeah. 
with filigree and all of this sort of thing because you don't fill it in incidentally you no, just look, do he's got, he's got half of the roman is. arch he's got yeah. half of the roman and this leads you back to this yeah and then you know a question mark <laughs> so there it, it's a beautiful device that works peculiarly for you know the the forced architecture so this is like a one point perspective uh drawing his use of eyes too is really interesting you know, he, he actually puts a lot into the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, the noble grain. And the wrinkles around the eyes. Yeah. And look at this. Look at the half-lidded eyes. Yeah, look at this gag. Yeah. <laughs> and all, all this, all this, and there's the gag. Wine foot. And the bottle's drawn differently too. He's, he's very respectful of how he draws bottles of wine. Now, yeah. this is one of my favourite cartoons of all time. Yeah. Well, I've seen this girl look at her face before. look at her face she i mean she's almost just like her mouth just look at her mouth the symbols and she's just expression and you know the um the she, drunken she sold out to this life. rich guy look yeah. how thick his legs are look how thin hers are mm. and her breasts are just just sitting on the table and and the way he's got the the pearls she's just so jaded and worn out by the whole process mm. and here we have these these mexican what are these everyday ceremony trying to stand up in manana <laughs> look he pours it in here and it drip, drips out his hat he uses yeah. the gag you know yeah this is brilliant so you get to see these uh expressions in the background characters here where he'll go to town and have he, i mean this guy looks really disgusted he's looking at the tureen I think, ooh, I don't like the look of that, you know. So you get the jaded butler, the, the yeah, wine waiter. Yeah, they're all you know, jaded. The, the toffee, bored out of their brain. the toffee guy with his toffee bride, you know. So the, the little caricatures and little elements in there which you put to give so, you. So um, hand going in the back there. Yeah, touching her butt. Yeah. So he he put these little things in there which which give you a surprise when you're looking at the illustration. You know, I mean, the way that he, he'll design, look at the way, how high the pants are. You know, it's like... Well, it's, it's industrial. It's no neck See, at he's all. got, these are chains hanging down and they're just lines. Yeah. Very cool. There's a one point perspective again. Yeah. Ancient festival of hoofing. Hoofing it. Yeah. Yeah. Very simple use of color, which he's known for. When you see his movie posters, um, you'll see... Uh, you know how well this has worked for him because they the characters trail around the type and um, they use great use of uh, the, the white a wine a wine, um, a wine auction yep the girls yep it's a lot of um, and then we have the heavy Russian yep the, what's what's this one annual ceremony of accepting the Kremlin, Kremlin Rouge. Rouge and this is look, look at the head yeah these guys are just the breasts yeah these the guys are just pendulums. gargoyles aren't they these they're, they're yeah. bored out of their brain yeah impatience the guy i want can't wait to the grapes to grow a cheerful bunch yeah it's very nice use of color very yeah. nice use of color I think he's done a bit of research, and this what's this one? The touching and rather dampish ceremony of wailing over the wine. This is this is probably one of his uh, more traditional um, uh, compositions. This kind of looks like a painting. You see the the composition is very traditional. So your eyes follow the action. But look at these. These are his signature eyes. These little dots inside that that kind of look like. Um, you know they're they're zoned out. Yeah, but, but look but at the in, nostrils. In most well. of the pictures, the drinking, everybody's sort of happy and gleeful and all yeah. sort of stuff. But this is Ireland. <laughs> yeah. So they're and crying. They're, yeah, and of course everything is heavy. Everything is heavy. In this Wailing picture. over the wine. Yeah, yeah, and you know he's this guy's just collapsed <laughs> and yeah, and they're, they're used to drinking over there, but it's just it's a different experience. Yeah, and it's got a leaden yeah with the colours soaked feeling about it. Yeah, you know, like. Beautiful. And of course, here's the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And look, this is funny. What's this? Blessing, Blessing the, the grapes, grapes. California style. So you have all the religions. You have what's this? Black gurus or something like that. And they're all dancing. Yep. Because um, Ireland's, oh, sorry, California's famous for its, all its religions. Yep. And this is the 
Bacchanalian. Great, great. Yeah. Beautiful use of colour and yeah, again when you see the movie posters you'll see a lot of this jumping and leaping of characters. Just sitting on a cloud without just but lightness mm. and this these eyes, these crazy eyes. Mm. Pan in the background. Yeah. It's beautiful. There's the heaviness again, the use of that line and the spider web with the dust and the crap in it. It's dirty. This is you can see it the, it it's sort of like scratching. Yeah. Into the paper. Yeah. <coughs> and I'll, any old port in a storm. Mm. Sitting that's out. a beautiful piece. Yeah. That's that's a, a very uh, classic uh, looking uh, painting. How did he get the white? That might be scratched with a pin over the top of the uh, paper. What are you? Oh. To, just to bring it, they cut it through. Yeah. yeah. Scrivito or or something could be wax resist something. Well, sure. I, I think he's I think he's explored all the versions of scratching you can do. You know, a lot, yeah, he's the scratchingest artist. He's the itchiest artist I've ever seen. <laughs> a lot of scratching here. So you'll notice. Oh, but it's got a beautiful line. Style a beautiful scratching. line. Look yeah, at this. It's such a scratchy line. Yeah. So beautiful. Just beautiful line. Look. Just, See, see yeah. the bare flesh behind the sort of <laughs> the little <laughs> ribbons. Look at the eyes. I yeah. mean, that's almost obscene, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Oh, and the Scots. Look, look. That's such a gag. Such a gag. Yeah. And there's the French style um, castles and buildings they have in Scotland. Yeah. And and, and, and look at this. The, the curly knives and stuff. The swords and stuff. The dancing. Yeah. Now what's this, what's this? South Africa, the colourful ceremony of offering limited recognition to the black grape. That's... Because uh, this would have been done in the 70s in, or 60s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's a reference to apartheid. Yeah, a, a very, very good reference to it, very funny. So the thick and here's line the one there. grape, look, here's the one grape here. Yeah. Yeah. So for drama, yeah. he'll outline the thickness yeah. of these things, of the line. And of course, look, here, here's... Still scratchy. Yeah. But now thicker. See, it's he, gone he, over it ten times. He he hangs and he also chops heads off. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great gag. Uh, and these these waiters again. Oh, look at that. Look at there. A, that. Sleaze, a sleazy uh, 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 waiter. Yeah. And what's the, there's no gag on it. It's just the way he's holding it like a baby. Mm. It's like the christening, you know? Yeah. The Rotterdam, <laughs> Rotterdam Rose. Yeah. Historic but somewhat yucky ceremony of the pulling out of the finger. <laughs> the kid with his finger in the dye. And all the cheeses the here. Gag. All the cheeses. The dams, yeah. Yeah. And then, look, she's got a mop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh. Isn't that what's, great? What's that guy? Uh, was it Eisenst Eisenstadt? The, the horse hanging off the cart? Oh, Eisenstein, yeah. Eisenstein? Yeah, in, um, in the Russian Revolution film. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just balanced. It's just funny. And and look, the the, the, the mosaic look. Yeah. What's For the this? Byzantium. Frustrating ceremony of trying to round up square grapes because <laughs> they don't... Because the tiles are square. Yeah, yeah. And the little, little detail the little of, gags of, of how um, they did, did... Shape. Yeah, you know, how they did perspective. Yeah. Early perspective, and look here. Here's the Byzantine king. He wants it quickly, and you know. Yeah, that's funny. Awesome. And this is because he grew up. I mean, he spent most of his in life in, in in France, so he yeah. has this. But that's obviously French. Or, a romantic yeah. picture of. Uh... This man draws the best pigs I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't know about his pachyderms, but his pigs are pretty good. Yeah. Oh. It's a great cake. Yeah. All the different colours. The world of wine, the Vin yeah. Olympics. Non-stop festival of sour grapes. Yeah. The EEC, all these countries that are fighting each other and you know, but they're making the one. So the there's unity, wine, there's, the unity there's unity in, in uh, wine. Yeah. Because <laughs> these are all different that's Italian. You yeah. Know, different it's, shapes. Yeah, treading on the guys on yeah. there. So good. A jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou. Yeah. It's a great, great. This is a the Ayatollah. No, yeah, oh, here. The, but yeah. I'm just saying, this is like a, a really great um, 
hard line to sort of support it, you know? It's got a structural... Ironically, it's, got it's not hard at all. It's, no, but it's, it's got a structural... He's using it structurally? Yeah, but it's still, it's still got that rough sort of like, um, you know, slow purpose. Yeah. So the scratchiness is just still there. Yeah, look at this. These are revolutionaries. Look at those eyes. And look at these girls. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah. See a CIO operative or something. Yeah. And what's this? Traditional ceremony facing up to room temperature. Yep. Waiting at these really corrupt guys sitting around. Look at the snake just coming in out of the jungle. Yeah. Tea ceremony. Yeah, beautiful. Inventor of people's Pinot, uh, Pinot, surviving yet another felicitation. So. Yeah. Because they have all these ceremonies in. They're and digging they're, out the old garden. Yeah. And, and all, all the industrial stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because a couple of... These animals are terrific, aren't they? <coughs> yeah. Ah, speaking of animals. Well, we're Australians, we're used to kangaroos, but no one, you know, that's just, that's bizarre. Beautiful faces, I mean, you know, like feminine form. Well, here's the a sort of a Dali Desert. That, don't yeah, look at that mouth. Yeah. Yeah, the Dali Desert. Mm. He didn't do, Dali didn't do many desert scenes. No. Medusa. And look at this, very powerful. Very unlike him drawing something like that. Keeping an eye on the press. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful, subtle colours. Had to open it up. And what's this? Arrival of. How do you pronounce his name? Ptolemy. Yeah. Or Ptolemy no, Nouveau. Who? Ptolemy Nouveau. New Ptolemy. Huh. So this is his take on Anubis and well, some of the Egyptian gods. So the main people are, cool. are, are, are done sideways, like in the art. And look at this. Yeah. The reason for the pyramids. Yeah. Another one over here. Wow. Yeah, he does do animals beautifully. Expressions on the on that. Striking magic. the rich in Texas. Yeah. There's a very very cool symbol of the figure filling up with wine. It's such a simple idea, but it's almost profound, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I I saw that drawing before it was ever coloured in. Yeah. And I just thought, what a great. Metaphor. Great, just a great metaphor. Yeah. yeah. So this here is a beautifully um, composed uh, painting. Again, you can see from the uh, the border. So it's a classical uh, looking painting, almost. Um, so cynical, like it's a celebrating of the murdering. Yeah. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. And that last look at that last picture. Last picture. <laughs> That's all this thing, yeah. The friar in his dungeon. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, you know, he's just beautiful. Beautiful. He's just work. barking mad, so that will, you know, it's, yep. if you drink too much, that's what's going to happen. Yep. Great book. Something in the cellar. Ronald Searle's Wonderful World of Wine. And uh, something for you to uh, keep an eye out for. If you love Ronald Searle, you'll certainly find this very, very f amusing, very funny. You can learn a lot from his line, really. You, you just, you know, um, we've actually talked about his If you've got an itch to be scratching on paper <laughs> like Ronald, read this book. Yes. Okay. This is Franz Cantor and Jim Bridges saying goodbye, Ronald Searle, and, um, and we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye bye. bye.